everyone, it's Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less. And today I'm going to share how I plan fabulous birthday parties from beginning to end. And also I'm going to give you some of my best tip tricks and ideas. So stay right here and we're going to get started right now. So let's get started with tip number one, which is location and layout. Now, the first thing you want to make sure that your location is easily accessible, that it has enough parking and that it's in your budget. And then you want to make sure that the number of individuals or guests that you're inviting will be able to be accommodated in the room that you're renting or the space that you're renting. You don't want to rent a room that houses 300 people for 50 people because your party will look empty or vice versa because your party will be too full and uncomfortable for your guest. Okay, so let's move on to tip number two, which is count, measure, and manage. So when you get your location, you want to make sure you measure the table so that you can order a tablecloth uh, that will fit that particular size table and chair covers that will fit that chair cover. So for this particular event, I ordered my tablecloths from Linen Tablecloth and they fit perfectly. Okay, so now that we've counted and measured and managed, we're going to move on to tip number three, which is to decorate in steps. Now, I am a type A personality when it comes to decorating, so I have to make sure that everything is in order because it can get overwhelming pretty quickly. And so the first thing that I like to do is put on my tablecloth because that is just kind of like the heart of your room. And so once I get the tablecloth put in place, I want to make sure that it is, I like the tablecloth to cover the legs on the table. I just think it's really unattractive to see the feet underneath the, the table or the legs underneath the table. So I like to get tablecloths that will go all the way down to the floor. And then once I get that tablecloth in place, I'm able to move on and put them all in place. So you guys see I um, kind of alternated the colors with the red and the black because it, it was an 80th birthday party and her favorite color was red. And so it was the day before Valentine's Day. And so I added some of the black to kind of you know contrast the room. Now, one of the things that I noticed when I was looking at the venue was that the chairs were not clean. And most of the time, you know, if you're using uh, cloth chairs or chairs with any kind of fabric, a lot of times you run into this problem. And so that is why I definitely want to count the number of chairs and measure the chairs so that I can get tablecloths. And what I recommend are universal tablecloths, uh, excuse me, uh, table chair covers, because with this, you can use them on banquet style chairs. You can use them on folding chairs or you can use them on regular chairs chairs so this is very beneficial when you are um, going to invest in something like this I would definitely recommend these because you'll get a lot more use out of these than your standard uh, banquet chair covers so here I am here um, tying the uh, universal chair covers because again it's gonna fit to the type table that it is and here is all the chair covers done now keep in mind this took a lot more time to do but I wanted to give you guys um, kind of an overview of the impact that the chair covers made in the room Okay, so now that we have the tablecloth in place, the chair covers in place, now I like to add my table runner or you can use a table topper. And again, I got these from linentablecloth.com or you can also order it from tablecloththfactory.com. And so what I like to do is make sure that the, the uh, runner is aligned on both edges and then I like to add my mirror for the centerpiece and my centerpiece. So here I just have a bling box that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It's actually a candle holder. And I added the flower on top. Tip number four is to establish your flow. And so here is the program. We have the programs in place. Our table chargers are in place. So when individuals come in, they kind of know the flow of the event and they know what to expect next. Okay, and now tip number five is to have a focal point. It is so important to have a focal point in the room because we had a speaker. I decided to put the dessert table in the upper left hand corner to the right hand side of the speaker so that it could kind of be a focal point. And it was also a dessert table, but it was a great, great focal point 
for this event. So again, this was an 80th birthday party. Her favorite colors were red and black, and so I added a little bit of bling. And of course, you guys know all of my desserts are done by Rachel from Hot Mama's Bakery. She's on Facebook. And the cake pop, the bling sticks were amazing. Those came from Hobby Lobby. We also had some macaroons. Oh, they were so delicious in the shape of hearts. And then we had cookies that were in the shape of roses and the number 80. Bling, we um, had around the cake, the different layers of the cake. We had cupcakes with the number 80 on it, as well as some roses. And we did not use as much sugar in this because, you know, the people, the guests were a little bit older. Those are chocolate covered Oreos. Um, and they had the number 80 and the rose. So we carried the rose and the love. So it's 80 years of sharing, caring, and giving love. And so that was the theme of her 80th birthday party. It was absolutely amazing. And when all of her guests arrived, they were so so in love with this particular focal point. And for the backdrop, I used some fabric from Hobby Lobby and some uh, bling strings that I got from Christmas and a couple of crystal uh, candelabras. Okay, so moving on to tip number six, and that is to create and capture memories. And so it is so important once you get everything in place to kind of step back and, and look at everything and how everything is flowing. Uh, make sure you don't need to um, you know, make any changes or anything like that. And then you want to think about, you know, how you can create and capture memory. So I use low center pieces on purpose so that conversation would be good around the table so that, you know, individuals can see one another when they're talking, etc. And we're not finished, um, kind of setting all the tables here. I kind of took this video um, while we were still in the process of finishing because we were finishing to get to the finish line, um, before the event, uh, started. So, um, so you want to make sure that you create memories and capture memories and look at, you know, every aspect of the room to make sure that once those memories are captured, that there's something beautiful around it, whether it be the table, the centerpiece, something on the wall. Um, you just want to make sure everything is beautiful. You don't want to leave anything out. See, in this particular room, we had a fireplace and I just couldn't leave that blank because when you walked in, you saw it. So I added a banner and some candles just to kind of make everything beautiful and make everything a conversation piece. We also have a photo backdrop. We had a professional photographer that caught, uh, captured photos from the day and it was just an amazing, amazing event. And it was definitely one that will be always remembered and cherished. So tip number seven, and that is to step back, adjust, and enjoy. So once you've finished, you know, completing your room or your decoration, you want to step back and make sure everything makes sense, everything is uh, uh, accessible, um, everything is, you know, kind of agrees, and it doesn't really cause anyone to be uncomfortable. That you know. It, there's nothing in the way of people seeing, you know, you just want to step back. And when you see something that just doesn't make sense or doesn't um, kind of agree with you, step back and adjust it. And once you make those adjustments and everything is just perfect, enjoy, enjoy and capture the memories. I am telling you, having a professional photographer on hand is definitely worth it because it's hard to host and enjoy and capture the memories. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this, please give me a thumbs up. Tell me what was your favorite part of this event. Was it the dessert table, um, the table settings? Just tell me what you enjoyed most in the comments below. And until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Bye-bye.